Hi, I'm Jim Eggles with the BMC Virtual Chat Team. We're going to be looking at the new configurable labels, buttons, and messages in the self-service portal for Virtual Chat 9.1.01. These configurations can be viewed and modified in the Virtual Chat Administration Console. To view these settings, we'll open the self-service portal configuration page. There are many different types of configurations here as you can see under the section column. In order to make this easier we're going to be just looking at the interfaces. So we can do that by selecting interfaces here. In the resulting table of the interfaces section we will see the nine different languages that we selected during the installation for virtual chat. In order to simplify things I'm just going to be looking at the English interface today. In order to show the differences between BMC Virtual Chat 9.1.01, which I'll call SP1 going forward, and the previous version, which was 9.1.00, I'm going to open up another window. And this window will have the previous version, 9.1. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and open up my interfaces. I'm going to filter it by just interfaces. And we'll notice in the old version that there is no English language interface out of box that's enabled. In order to enable this, we need to click the Show Disabled. And then we're going to select Interfaces English Example. And I'll do the same thing over here with Interfaces English in the SP1 version. In 9.1, which is here on the left, by default, this form is disabled. And the configurable items that are listed here are actually being handled in the controller's JS file. Up to and including Virtual Chat 9.1, only the non-English languages were enabled out of box and used by the application. If the chat admin wanted to customize the English version, they would have to enable this form like this. And in this form, there are 40-something different variables that the user can customize. When this English example was not enabled, all these parameters were read from the controllers.js file, which is located on the mid-tier server under web apps, ESChat, resources, JS, and inside this controllers file. This was not a very good solution because any changes that were made there would then be overwritten by any subsequent upgrade or hotfix that involved the ESChat war file, which would then overwrite all those subdirectories. So that's the main reason for moving it up into these configuration files. And now in SP1, we've more than doubled the amount of messages and labels that can be configured here. If we just look at the volume of them as I expand these, we'll see that all this new I interface section here, we've got 40 something of them over here. And on this side, we have a significant amount more in the new SP1 version. We also did a much better job as far as organizing them, keeping the buttons with the buttons, the labels together, and the messages together, as well as the icons and the tabs. So it's just a little better organized as well. I'm going to close these down now. In order to more easily recognize which parameters were available in previous versions and which ones are new in SP1, I put together a spreadsheet which will help us show this. The spreadsheet tab we're looking at right now is showing all the parameters that were existing in 9.1 and now also exist in SP1. There are a couple of very small differences. One right here where the button RLA cancel button and this is uh, the button when you request a live agent to cancel that session it used to say cancel it used to just say cancel this was the previous version and we've changed it to cancel chat out of the box but obviously now this is all configurable and a user could change it to anything they want. I'll just scroll slowly down here and you can see some of the uh, different things that we can modify in these 40, looks like 44 different items. 
And again, there are some small differences here, none of that you really need to worry about. We just need to know that the previous ones are also included in the new one. The new items that are now available in SP1 are these. And as we can see, there's a total of 47 of them. So there are several images that we can change now, including the avatar and the header. There are now about 16 more labels that can be easily modified, as well as all the different messages. And we will take a look and, and go ahead and change one of these and show you how that's done. At this point, we're just going to go to our new SP1 version. For those of you already familiar with chat, you may notice that this self-service configuration form looks a little different. For one thing, it's grayed out. Uh, we can't change anything right now. If we try to, we get this warning that says, we strongly recommend only making changes in an overlay. Changes in base configuration will be lost in an upgrade. So this is a new change for SP1 that allows us to do overlays on the fly when we're making these configuration changes and configuration changes in the interfaces is a fairly common change because that's where people will do their branding and customizing of the interface. So let's go ahead and change one of our new items. And to do this, we'll open up a, a user with a chat who's going to log in. And one of our new items, uh, we'll pick one, would be the open items message. So we're going to go find that one. And it's called message no chat items. And it basically just tells us if we go there that we have no open chat. So we're going to go to our open items icon and we see that we have no open chats. If we wanted to make a change to this, we could do that. And we're just going to make a slight change. And again, we're going to modify it. And for the purpose of this test, I'm not going to with bother with an overlay. I'm just going to modify it right here. I'm going to say we have no open chats today. And now I need to save this and refresh the servlets. And now at this point, I should be able to reload this page. And when we go to that item, we'll see that that change has taken effect. So that's going to be the case for all these different little items uh, along here now, where we can change the label, uh, we can change the buttons, uh, and we can change the messages. And that's how we do it. Now we've been looking at the English interface, but the same goes for uh, the other language interfaces as well. Uh, they've also been expanded to include much more data in their new UI section. Um, and it pretty much has the same parameters, except that they are already translated. And then these are used when localization is involved and we're translating these various messages and uh, buttons and labels and things like that. So those are the new configurable items in the self-service portal that we make from the chat administration console and will make branding much easier as well as maintaining the data in our upgrades much easier as well. Thanks for watching.